Well, uh, prosperity consciousness, I mean, uh, and Anna Hawkins. Well, prosperity consciousness, I mean, it's really abundance. Um, and uh, prosperity, and you could say what type of prosperity, but really everything that comes in, is, or everything that can come in, must be limited by the limited ideas that are held in mind. So if one is holding a lot of limited ideas around money, um, then that will block off abundance coming in in the area of money. It's like uh, money, money is evil. People who have money are evil. Uh, you can only get to you can only get into heaven if you haven't got any money. So if those are the kind of beliefs uh, you're holding within the limited ego, then uh, that is going to limit the level of abundance in the financial area that you can get because the power of beliefs is incredible. Mm -hmm. The unconscious and the conscious and the power of the universe to manifest things, mm -hmm. even if you consciously try and overcome them, the sabotage will be that those limiting uh, beliefs will prevail until they're deleted. Uh, so let's, let's talk about money. Uh, you know, however your situation is in a particular area, is already a reflection of, of your beliefs. You know, so if you're like saying to yourself, well, I have, I've never got any money, can't afford to pay the rent, um, uh, and life has to be a struggle, uh, I, can only, I can only earn money if I get a job where I'm flogging myself to death and I, I can't stand it. Well, if all of those things are happening, those are your unconscious beliefs. You don't have to like, how do you think about your work? How do you think about your money? What do you think about other people who have money? Do you sort of see someone who has a lot of wealth and judge them like they're bad or you're jealous or, uh, or whatever? So all of that is then giving guidance on the belief systems you've got. So you can probably do a little bit of guesswork and go, if, you know, if you sort of have joy in your heart when you see rich people uh, and think that they're great and, and, or that the more money they have, the more good they can do, whatever it is, the more they can be of service or you think... Um, so, so in that area you could just write down what are the limits that you're imposing in financial abundance if it's like financial prosperity and financial abundance I mean uh, can money effortlessly come to you or no, no money has to come only if I do extreme work and I'm nearly dead mm -hmm. I worked in the stock market you know so I did that one uh, and uh, so as, as you look at those limiting beliefs I mean there's an infinite the universe, the universe is capable of giving infinite possibility and even infinite new creativity that hasn't existed yet. I think that would be something like, you know, like, um, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not, you know, but, you know, if you look at Bill Gates, you know, Windows hadn't been created then, you know, and, you know, just creating the Windows software is something, you know, so um, all kinds of creativity can come forth, come forth, um, like, um, who, who was it who did the light bulb? You know, as they go into Edison, uh, Edison yeah. yeah, as they go into those infinite states of creativity, what can come forth out of the infinite realm that provides great wealth to to all and prosperity to all uh, that doesn't come from the limited ego mind? So there's an infinite potential, infinite potential. I mean, like, so that would be just the area. I mean, I mean, my speciality is health, where uh, I talk a lot about bringing, uh, uh, taking out limited ideas which block um, uh, health in your life, you know, like if you hold limited ideas around age, aging, uh, you know, I'm still cancelling stuff, you know, I cancelled everything, but you know, the ones that were nearly killing me, I did, I did a lot of work on those, and so those things which were killing me the fastest, you know, as those limiting things go, then the expression of health becomes more limitless, more prosperous, more abundant, you know, so that could be uh, was it abundance, prosperity consciousness. So there's health, prosperity consciousness, there's um, wealth, um, relationships. Oh yes, relationships is a fun one, isn't it? Um, if you've got like bad relationship after bad relationship after bad relationship and keep feeling like committing suicide after each relationship, then that shows <laughs> That shows a lot of that shows a lot of limited beliefs, a lot of negativity, you know. If um, 
and probably uh, uh, naivety as well. So, uh, so, the, so there's limiting beliefs, you know, that li my limited capacity around relationships is also reflecting my the limited beliefs and limitation and this, the level of identification I am with my limited self, uh, then creating such bad relationship. So as you let go of, a, you know, you're in a relationship, just write, write down, um, uh, if you just see what you didn't like in the other person, uh, you've got the thing in you that's attracting that, you know. So I was, like, I, if I always, um, uh, I always attract women who cheat on me, you know. So that probably means there's something in me I need to cancel, that uh, probably I'm a cheater. Or I like cheating, or I want to cheat. So, cancel the belief in me, or that judges others, or the cheat in me. Uh, God did not create the cheat in me, so it's not real. God did not create the cheat in women, so it's not real. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is, because the world is often a mirror reflecting the stuff in me that I'm attracting to me. So I can cancel it in myself, or cancel it. I basically cancel it until it doesn't exist, until I, I experience a world where cheat, people who cheat don't exist. Often when, the, when it doesn't exist in me, that it can be a potential, then uh, I will not, I cannot attract it. Mm. Also, when you let something go, you, you couldn't see it even if it happened right in front of your eyes. You know, so it's like, I go to 12-step programs where they give up things, like I'm in a food program. It's like, you can put donuts in front of me. We have donuts regularly donated to the group. Uh, but it's, you know, I haven't gone and put on 300 pounds and showed up next week, you know having had a huge donut binge. So as you make things meaning, transcend them, you, it's almost like you don't even see it any longer. So, you, and as you probably, if you see cheats everywhere, I'm just using that as an example with relationships, but it could be uh, whatever is showing up is a mirror to be looked at to see what is it in me that has brought this and what can I cancel uh, so that I have abundance in relationships, romantic, family, um, work relationships, uh, <coughs> money, so uh, yeah, that's I mean, also abundance changes with your level of consciousness. Like a low level of consciousness, like uh, the ego may project that abundance is having a billion pounds in the bank, but actually, as you go to higher levels of consciousness, um, uh, abundance is seen differently. You know, at, at lower levels, it's seen more like for the limited self. Like abundance for the limited self would be to have a Rolls Royce and lots of money in the bank and a, and a thing. So that's how the a more limited self would picture abundance. But as one gets higher, uh, abundance might be being of more love and service. You know, actually, oh, well, with so much time left on this body, how can I be of more love and service? Uh, and then at even higher levels, well, there isn't a separated self asking for abundance. It doesn't even, that doesn't exist. So just the, the expression of that which is not longer identified as a separate self just expresses itself, you know, you'd say like a channel. And so there isn't, and that you could say is um, a level of abundance. You know, abundance in the sense that there's no limitation in that expression of being. So they're different, it changes as you go up the levels of consciousness. Uh, definitely though, when you're the more you do spiritual work, whenever you hold a thought in mind, it tends to manifest more easily. You know, like if a saint, someone like a saint, sees an ill person uh, and pictures them well, um, that person in the next day or, or spontaneously can suddenly seem to miraculously recover. Uh, whereas you've got someone deep in their ego saying, let me manifest a million pounds tomorrow. They might do that for like 50 years and still not manifest a winning lottery ticket because they haven't got much power behind it, uh, if that makes sense. Mm. I mean, they can attract negative stuff. Or, but um, at higher vibrations, you get the, uh, you, can, you can get the miraculous happening as well. 